A partial solar eclipse today darkened the sky in several states, creating what's known as a ring of fire. CBS 2's Omar Villafranca has a look at the rare celestial event. Around high noon at the Alamo, the eyes of Texas and hundreds of visitors were looking towards the sky. What's better than to take your picture in front of the Shrine of, of Liberty here in the state of Texas uh, with an eclipse in the background? A rare ring of fire eclipse was visible from Oregon through Texas. Ring of fire because the moon doesn't quite cover the sun. In Utah's Bryce Canyon, people hiked into nature to witness the eclipse, while others flocked to LA's Griffith Observatory to get a glimpse. John Cuddy flew to San Antonio from North Carolina to watch the solar phenomenon. He witnessed the 2017 eclipse and didn't want to miss this one. It's just really cool. Yeah, and it doesn't happen often. Like I think there's only been a few in the over the continental United States in the last, you know, couple decades, and that's yeah, like a kind of neat thing. NASA took the opportunity to launch three rockets into the atmosphere. This is absolutely going to be new. I have no idea what my instruments are going to see. Dr. Aero Barjata was in charge of sending the rockets to the edge of space to study the ionosphere, a mission three years in the making. But he made sure to see the solar phenomenon with his own eyes. At that point, we kind of run outside the building, wait to see the rockets get shot into the sky, also take a peek at the eclipse, and then run back in because we got to get ready for the next rocket. I like the look. I just can't see anything out of it. Back on Earth, the eclipse stole some of the spotlight during several college football games. That's very nice. Even the Houston Astros' Jose Altuve couldn't resist checking out the ring of fire. Don't throw away your eclipse glasses just yet. The next event is only six months away in April of 2024. From Maine to Texas, it'll be a total eclipse, meaning it'll be dark in the middle of the day. Omar Villafranca, CBS News at the Alamo in San Antonio. Hmm, unfortunately, our weather prevented eclipse viewing parties here. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch is here with our first alert forecast. We were lamenting not being able to see the eclipse, mm -hmm. but you're, set, you're even more excited about April. Well, I am because it's a much more rare event. Right. And because we are so close to 100% eclipse, that's in Rochester and as well as Buffalo, uh -huh. we're going to be at 90% here, but it's a total eclipse happening. And some spots will get plunged into darkness, but here we'll still have some sunlight. 90%, baby. It's not 100%, but just travel a few hours to the west and we'll get there.